In this activity, students explore the structure and function of bones in a chicken wing and compare them to the structure and function of the bones of humans. The students will investigate the bones, describe them, and make inferences about how they work. The materials needed for this activity include raw chicken wings, paper towels, a dissection tray, a dissection kit made up of scissors or a scalpel, forceps, and a probe. It is important to review uh, the safety practices before starting and use safety precautions during the investigation. After students receive a chicken wing, have them rinse the wing and pat dry before placing it in the dissection tray. Using the scissors or scalpel, make a long incision from the upper part of the wing to the wing tip. It is easier to use the side with less meat. Slide the scissors between the muscle and skin, lifting the skin away from the muscle, and cut the skin from the muscle. Pull the skin back gently from the muscle to see a layer of yellow fat under the skin. The fat makes the skin greasy, so blot it dry with a paper towel. Now look at a bundle of pink, pale muscle surrounding the bone. Gently observe the blood vessels that look like thin red lines running with the muscles. Nerves are also present and are thin white strings like structures that run near the blood vessels. Using a dissection probe, find the tendons of the wing. Tendons connect muscles to bones. They are shiny, white cord-like structures at the end of the muscles. Now remove the muscles and tendons from the bones and examine the outer cover, the periosteum, of the bones. Then break one of the small bones in the lower chicken wing. It is easiest when holding the bone with a paper towel for a better grip. Be careful to avoid the broken ends of the bone as they may be sharp. Observe the structure of the bone, noting the hard, compact layer and the bone marrow within the bone. Ligaments are tough, white cord-like structures that connect one bone to another at the end of the bones. Examine the ends of the bones and look at the white, shiny covering of the cartilage at the joints. Cartilage reduces friction and protects the ends of the bones when the joint moves. Now have the students answer the questions found in the activity. At the end of the investigation, make sure that students clean up their station with disinfectant and thoroughly wash their hands with soap and water.